Hi there, so in this video, we're going to cover how to set up and program your RFID Autoslide tag set. What I have here is the contents of a tag set. Now this specifically is a version 2 tag set by Autoslide. Um, we started releasing these in November of 2021. So if your tag set was purchased before that date, then you'll want to reference the video down in the description below. So. All of our tag sets come with an RFID tag receiver. And then it'll also come with either two smart pendants. We also call these iOpen tags. Or it'll come with two canine tags. These are more water resistant and they're designed specifically for pet collars. Now the canine tags will also include tag pouches. And of course, you would just open the pouch like so. Put your tag right in there, close the pouch back up, and then this Velcro strap will help it to attach to your pet's collar. Now, we highly recommend using these tag pouches, even if your canine tag includes a key ring, we recommend taking that key ring off and using the pouch instead, as it is a method of extra protection. If you did not receive tag pouches with your canine tag, please reach out to us. Besides the tags, we also have our optional backing piece, which goes onto the back of our tag receiver box. We have our mounting screws for the receiver box, a screwdriver, and then we have our assortment of cables. Now these cables will connect the receiver box to the Autoslide system, and it includes three different lengths of cabling. Now the first thing I'm going to do here before I get started is I'm going to actually remove the cover of the receiver box so that we can access both the port that's hidden on the bottom here and access the programming button that is inside this cover. So to do that, I'm going to remove this screw right here. So I'm going to grab a drill, but you can also do this, of course, with a screwdriver. And remove this screw right here. Set that aside. I'm going to insert the screwdriver right into the seam here. Now you're gonna to wanna to be careful to not go into this seam, but the outer seam right there. So once you have it right in there, you can pry the cover off. And you'll reveal the RFID tag receiver. And you'll also reveal the port for a cable going to the bottom of the receiver box. Now this right here is the programming button, which we're going to be using to pair our RFID tags to the receiver. So in this section of the video, we're going to cover connecting your RFID tag receiver to your auto slide system. Now, if you're going to be using your RFID tags for a full human opening with, then you can go straight to plugging your receiver into one of these ports, which I'll cover in just a little bit. But otherwise, if you're going to be using your RFID tag set for your pet and you want the door to open partially, then you're going to need to first program your pet opening with. Now, if you have already done this, you can skip this section, but otherwise I'm going to show you how to program your pet, op your pet opening with in pet mode. So we're going to take our screwdriver and we are going to flip the third dip switch back and forth. Now this system is upside down, so for me it's gonna be the third switch from the left, but if your system is installed at the top of the door, then it'll be the third dip switch from the right. So I'm gonna flip that on and then back off. The lights are gonna start flashing and the door is going to start opening. Now, once the door reaches a position I want it to stop at for my pet, I'm going to brace the door 
keep it from opening any further. The door is going to close. And then once the door is closed all the way, you'll see a solid amber orange light behind the pet paw, and that'll indicate that pet mode is programmed, and I can test that by pressing this pet sensor button right here. And the door will open to the parcel pet mode opening. So I'm now good to proceed with connecting my RFID tag receiver to our auto slide system. So now we're ready to connect our RFID tag receiver box to our auto slide system. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in one end of the cable into our receiver box. Now I have two different options here. I could either plug it into the back port. So to do this, I'm gonna just bend the port ever so, or bend the plug, I mean, ever so slightly, and then plug it in right there like that. It makes it a little bit easier. Or I can plug it in at the bottom right here. Now the other end of this cable, I'm going to plug into either the pet sensor port or the outside or inside sensor port. Now this depends on whether you're using this for pets or using this for humans. So if you are using this for your pet and you want the door to open to a parcel pet opening with, which we programmed earlier in the video, then you're going to want to plug this into the second port from the bottom. Now, my unit is upside down, so for me, it'll be the second from the top. But if your system is installed on the top of your door, then it would be the second port from the bottom on the right side of the system. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in now. And you'll see that I get a flashing blue light and then it's going to go off. Now, if you're using this for um, disability or if you just want the tags to open the door to a full human opening, then you can plug this into either the outside or the inside ports, which are going to be your top two ports. Again, in my case, these are going to be the bottom two, but if your system was installed at the top of the door, it would be either of these top two ports right here. So I'm going to continue with setting this up as if it is for pet usage. So now that my receiver box is connected to my auto slide system, I'm going to pair our RFID tags. So the most important thing is you're going to want to pair these one at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and set one of these tags aside. And then the other tag, I'm gonna go ahead and first Press the button on the receiver, and this is going to be the inset programming button that I uh, talked about in the beginning of the video. And then I'm going to press the button on the tag. Now you're going to see that the tag is actually already flashing blue just by being close to the receiver box, but the receiver box hasn't yet learned the signal of the tag. So I'm going to press the receiver box button, press the tag button, and then as you can see, it is already paired and good to go. Now, it's only going to work from a few inches away from the receiver box. So I'm going to take the tag to the physical distance that I want it to trigger at. Now this could be anywhere from a few inches to up to 10 feet away maximum. And then I'm going to hold down the button on the tag. And then once I see the tag light up solid blue, <clears throat> going to release the button and then it will set itself <clears throat> to whatever distance the tag is from the receiver. So now it is set to this distance. And then I'm going to repeat this process for the other tag. So I would take this tag away, take your other tag up to the receiver, the exact same process, press the button on your receiver, press the button on your tag, and then set the distance for your tag and then continue this for as many tags as you have to pair all of your tags up to the receiver one by one. 